So here we have our function f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x to a third power. We are going to find the domain and then we are going to use the definition of derivative to find the derivative and also the domain of the derivative. So let's do the domain of this one first. You see how this is just a polynomial? There's no x on the bottom, there's no square root, there's no logarithm. So the domain for this right here is actually just all real numbers because there's no restrictions. So I'll just say domain is negative infinity to positive infinity, and that will be it. And now, here is the derivative, so we'll denote that by f prime of x. And this right here is given by the limit as h approaching 0, and you will have to remember the definition of derivative. I'll write it down for you guys here. f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And then we can just plug in and then work it out. So here we go. This is the limit as h approaching 0. The bottom is just an h. So for this part, we will put x plus h into here and also here. So it looks like we have x plus h squared minus 2 and then also x plus h to the third power. So x plus h into here and also here. And then we have the minus and then here we have the original so we can just write it down. But it has two terms, so let's open a parenthesis. So here we have the x squared minus 2x to the third power, like this. And perhaps I'll put the h more toward the middle, it just looks slightly better. Okay, then we're just going to multiply this out. So here this is going to be the limit as h approaching 0. Yes, keep writing this down. <laughs> and then here we have the h right here. Open this, we get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. You can write it down twice and multiply out, or you can just remember the binomial expansion. For this one, I will put it down right here for you guys, because we have to distribute the negative 2. This x plus h to the third power is equal to x to the third power plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared and then plus h to the third power. Again, you can write this down three times, multiply it out, or you can use a binomial expansion, or it's the Pascal's triangle, and all that stuff. And then we multiply negative 2 with this. So here we have negative 2 x to the third power. And then this times that, which is negative 6 x to the second power h. And then we have negative 6x h squared, and lastly we have the negative 2h to the third power. But this is not it. Finally, we distribute the negative. So this right here is negative x squared, and then plus 2x to the third power. And again, let me just put the h study toward the middle. Let's say it right here. Wow. Yes, I know, it's a very long expression, but not so bad. x squared minus x squared cancel out nicely. Also, this is negative 2x to the third power. This is the positive 2x to the third power. So they also can solve, that's very nice. And now if you look at all the rest, well, they all have an h. So we can factor that out. So here, this is the limit as h approaching zero. And on the top, factor out an h, we get 2x plus h. And then here we have the minus 6x squared. The h will be out over there. And then here we have the minus 6x, and the technical you have another h, and then minus 2h squared. Yes, and then all divided by h. But you know this h and that h cancel, which is very nice. And finally, we'll just put the 0 into all the h's, so here, here, and here. Um, you can just go ahead and write down the answer, but perhaps I'll show you guys the work just to make it slightly more clear. h is 0, and then minus 6x squared, minus 6x times 0, and then minus 2 times 0 squared, and then now it's clear, the answer is 2x minus 6x squared. So this right here will be the definition way to find the derivative for this particular function. And we also have to find the domain for this. So the domain, and I'm just saying this is the domain for the f prime. Um, there's no 
restriction, right? There's no x on the bottom, there's no square root with x inside, there's no logarithm, all that stuff. So domain is just negative infinity to positive infinity. We have to be careful though. Sometimes the domain of the function and the domain of the derivative might be different. So you have to double check. That's it.